Welcome to Make Life Beautiful. We're in the Trevor Victor Harvey Gallery at Seaforth. And we're so lucky to have you, Trevor Victor Harvey himself, to talk to. Welcome Thanks. to the show. Thank Trevor. you, Krista. Thank you. Now, you've got a very important show on at the moment that's presented by Andrew Weiss from America. Mm -hmm. And it's the Marilyn Monroe exhibition. Would you like to tell the Make Life Beautiful viewers about that? Well, the, the, the big thing about this viewers is that it's the largest Marilyn Monroe exhibition of correct, I say correct, Marilyn photographs uh, ever held in the world. What do you mean by correct? These are, these are untouched uh, from the original negatives. So when you imagine uh, these photographers, these six photographers, shooting Marilyn, the, the exhibition is, is of the actual photographs that the photographer saw through the camera. In other words, from the original negatives. So they're, they're correct as an untouched. That's absolutely amazing. Now we're standing in front of a very special photo that has Marilyn in a cardigan. Would you like to tell us a story about the cardigan on the beach photo? You know, it's interesting, a lot of the uh, photographs that were taken of Marilyn that she chose and commissioned the, and to work with these photographers. She only worked with six photographers. She often wore, wore her own clothes. So this cardigan, um, it was a very cold day on, on, on the beach at Santa Monica and she um, she went to the went to the truck, you know, and and and, and bought out the sweater, uh, which she wore at the shoot, and and uh, to keep warm, and wrapped herself in a towel, and she was very natural. This sweater um, has since sold for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, which that was one seven five zero 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 mm. for a cardigan. Amazing. <laughs> but that's not what's so important and amazing about this exhibition. I have found it inspiring to come nose to nose with photos that really capture her inner spirit, I think, her soul and her energy and her love for human beings really comes through from the, these photographs. And you see everything from the fuzzy brown wavy hair days right up until just a few weeks before she died. Now, do you want to tell us a little bit of a, a story about the early days and then the last days? Well, the, the early days were as Norma Jean, um, she was photographed uh, in 1945 and it was her first assignment and so the photographs that you'll see here in the exhibition uh, show Marilyn as a young girl, 17 year old, and she's just natural, vivacious, beautiful uh, as Norma Jean and of course the, the photographs uh, are, you know, are quite a beautiful coloured photographic survey and I think people would be astounded um, as to, as to how, how they look and then of course the last photographs uh, in 1962, some of the ones behind us in that sweater that I was talking about um, were taken in 1962, being the last. But who knew? Who knew that two weeks later she would be uh, she'd be gone? So, uh, so it's a complete survey of only 17 years of her life, which is a pretty short professional career. So, what's astounding for me um, as a as a as a Marilyn fan and, and as a gallerist and, and being in front of this exhibition as often as I can, what astounds me is that the, 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 she became such a big star in such a short period and, you know, I mean today she just lives on and on and on. Yeah, the magnetic attraction and in fact that started right from her very first being shown to the world was in a, an ad for enlisting women to work in the factories and she was actually working in a factory, is that right? That's, that's correct, she was in a, a pair of overalls, wasn't it? It was, for a, it was a, 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 a forces magazine, um, so it was really to promote the idea that women um, were doing a lot for the war effort um, and uh, once again, you know, she was just picked out of the pack at random, she just had this quality, this magic and the camera loved her. Uh, that's obvious. And I think as a message for Make Life Beautiful, this is uh, Radio Northern Beaches based and if you're an employer on the beaches, maybe take a second look around and see into the eyes of your employees, the people that you help by giving them a job so they can feed and clothe themselves, but maybe there's something very special about someone in your staff that you haven't yet discovered that can really bring your bottom line up. And, uh, and enrich the life of that person that you've uh, looked at. Everybody's special, but Marilyn was particularly a unique human being. And I think uh, the exhibition only goes until the 30th of June in 2013, and it's an important exhibition brought out from America, a very rare moment, and we have it here on the Northern Beaches at the Trevor Victor Harvey Gallery. So 
please do come along. Normally you would be overseas, they charge to, for you to see these, and this is for free, and you're very welcome to come to the gallery and be a part of history, look and come close to, look at and come close to history. Thank you, Krista. I couldn't have said it better. You don't miss this one. It's, uh, it's very special, and I, I guarantee you would leave um, with a, a, a completely different insight into Marilyn's life. Oh, I'd absolutely agree with that. Absolutely agree. Thank you very much for tuning in to Make Life Beautiful with Krista Elliott and Trevor Victor Harvey. Thank you, Krista. You're Thank welcome. You.